Evening everyone, this is video one and day one of one of my new car details. I'm often asked why um, a new car needs detailing and more importantly why mine takes so long. Mine take about four or five days, 40, 50 hours, but in reality it takes as long as it takes to get it as good as I can possibly get it. Why does a new car need detailing? There's two reasons for that. One is because no new car is clean. Um, it's contaminated from the factory, from transportation, from the dealership, and then poor washing from the dealership. So I try and rectify all of that. But more importantly, it's about the level of protection that I put on top of the car. Why do mine take so long? It just takes, takes the time. You've got various stages of machining and then the coatings. Others take a day, two days, three days. This is how long I take. So I'm just gonna go through What's happened today? Today is basically just cleaning the car. Um, try and get as much of the dirt off as I can. And this is what I call my wet days. So most of the day is spent outside. It only comes in here to be dried and then other stages. So I'll try and start off with what happens um, at the start of the day. First of all, the car go outside and I'll, I'll spend two or three minutes. I'll just walk around the car, just assess the car, have a look at the car, look at the shapes and the lines and just try and make a plan of how I'm going to um, clean the car. I always start with the wheels and the arches before I do anything on the paintwork. And this was started at nine o'clock and just to give you an indication, I didn't get round to doing the paintwork until about 11, half 11. So that's how much work has gone in before I even wash the car. So I've just come down to here. The car's taken outside, jacked up, put on extra stands and I do one side at a time. The wheels come off, as you can see the wheels are off now. The wheels are washed, the arches are washed. The arches, I start off with a citrus degreaser and I try and get up into here, all the suspension around the back of the brakes. At the same time, the wheels are sitting there drilling with a citrus degreaser. I get all the pressure washer and everything set up while that's drilling. And then I come in and then I start washing the wheels. I have a dedicated bucket for just wheels. That is a wheel cleaner from Angel Waxing and the wheels get a wash to start with to get rid of the, any surface dirt. Then once the wheels are as clean as I can get them with a wash mitt and some detailing brushes, they are then treated with um, a fallout remover, which I use Inex from CarPro. Now that takes off any embedded um, contamination from the brakes, because obviously these brakes are metal and just the friction of the brakes, um, it throws up little particles of metal that get stuck in and embed themselves into the wheels. So that's what the um, INX does, that removes iron particles from the wheels. While the INX is drilling on the wheels, I'll come in here and I'll give this a good wash. Uh, various brushes, wash mitts, get up in here and try and get as much of any dirt out of it that I can and leave the arches as clean as the day they left the factory. The brakes are then cleaned because the brakes are going to get coated at some point. These arches will be dressed at some point as well. With the wheels, that I've got here and they're dotted all the way around. The wheels, I'll move that out of the way at the moment. The wheels are washed. They've had the uh, INX on them. So the um, all the particles have um, been taken out and they get washed again. They're then dried and then I check just to make sure there's no bits missing and the wheels are as good as possible. Um, one of the other things with the wheels, I use a, a Tarex from Compro, and that removes any tar, road tar that's flicked up. And normally in the in the inside of the wheels, you get tar, and on the inside of the arches, you get tar as well. So I try and remove all of that. So that's all washed in here. That's all washed. The wheels are washed. Repeat on the other side. All the wheels are back on, and the car's now sitting back on its wheels. And then go through. To start with um, a citrus degreaser and I come through on door shuts to start with, come through here and here and around here, engine bow compartment and the boot. That just gets any dirt that's been forced up into there and then it's snow foam. Um, first of all it has one snow foam just to loosen any dirt off that's over the entire car. Then I have a second snow foam where I'll go through with my detailing brush and I'll get into areas here that I won't get in with my wash mitt. So a tiny little, it's um, 
what's the, it's badger hair, I think it is. So it's really soft and kind to the paint. And I'm just getting in, I can just agitate the dirt with the snow foam. There's the various pictures I've done before um, with the detailing brush. That second snow foam is then rinsed, and then it goes through a full safe two bucket wash. Two buckets, one with rinse water, one with your shampoo. Section at a time with the roof, into your soapy water. Straight lines as the air would flow over your car. Straight line, and I'll do that section. Now I'll return back to my rinse bucket, rinse that dirty wash mitt out, ready to put back in again to the soapy water, and then move on to panel and panel and panel, and that's how we go. The car's rinsed off again, then it's dried. There's three ways I've dried the cars. One, first of all, I use the water sheeting technique. So I use a stream of water over the car that removes as much water as I can. Then it's pat dried with a drying towel. And then lastly is with a, um, I actually use a pet dryer. And I get in there and the air forces the water out, all these tiny little crevices, nooks and crannies, and I catch that with another, another towel. So then the car's put back in here. Now it's dry and it sits on the ramp. Chopped underneath, lifted up, wheels back off, and then it's a clay bar. Now with the clay, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about what a clay bar does, but I use um, auto clay from Built Hamber. And, uh, clay, just clay the surface and that pulls out any more contamination out of the car. The door shuts are then wiped again, glass cleaned as much as I can, um, it has its first glass clean. Um, the glass will be cleaned in probably another two or three times before it's finished. Um, engine bay was uh, cleaned, that's ready to be dressed, uh, the, and the boot shut was done. It just come round to the exhaust, with the exhaust when it was outside. This was detarred, and that's been cleaned, ready to be polished at a later date, and these arches, these are the carpet arches and they still need a little bit of brush, they've still got a bit on them, but most of the dirt has come out of it. And that's probably about as far as I go on day one. I've inspected the paint, I know what condition the paint's in by now. Uh, tomorrow I'll go through in a bit more detail about the defects that I found on the paint. Um, I've just got a stone chip here to do and there's another one over there which I'm going to finish off tonight. So that's day one on a new car detail here. If you like what you've seen, then get, obviously give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the uh, video channel. If you've got any questions about what goes into why I'm, I'm doing this, why the new car detail and what goes on, then just, just give me a shout. Cheers for watching and um, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.